Hey y'all, it's Michelle from The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my plans for scrapping in October and also share with you some new spooky goodies that I got for my October scrapping. And of course, it is about time for Scrapoween 2023. I am going to follow the same schedule that I had last year with Kill a Kit Sunday, Mysterious Monday, Trick or Treat Tuesday, Spooky Pocket Wednesday, Halloween Throwback, Freaky Friday, and Sketchy Saturday. So I'm excited to do that. I've got all new unknown Grab 5 items from my older daughter this time. And she is going to be joining us to discuss why she picked some of the things that she did. And I've got several new techniques, mixed media techniques that I'm wanting to try this year. And I'm really excited about that. So, um, and then also this year, I want to again, scrap along with Christy's beautiful life in her 30 days of sketches. Um, this coming up month and some of the new scrappy goodies that I got for my stash this year. Let's see, I didn't get very much because I have so much Halloween stuff and none of the collections that came out this year really did anything for me, I guess. I, I wasn't really, really excited about them. But there was one thing that I was over the moon about. And you may already know, if you watched Scrapoween last year, what the main thing that I was so excited about last year, I got this year, oops, all the mica stains. So, um, Tim Holtz and Ranger came out with new colors this year and also came back out with not last year's colors, but, well, they do have last year's colors, but also the previous year's colors, which I did not have because I didn't know about them back then. And so I am so excited that I was able to pick up this year's new colors and year before last's colors. So now I have the whole collection of the spooky color mica stains and I love them so much. And these colors are just so much fun. There's like several two different shades of kind of a purple color, a cup of some greens, this really cool frosty blue here, and then some oranges and this yellow here, kind of a grungy brown and a gray, and I cannot wait to get into these and use them. You know they're gonna be on every page. And in addition to that, so this here is the Grip Paste in Crypt. It's kind of that greeny gray color, which I have the small um, containers of this, from last year. So this one is the Crypt, and then this one here is called Grave. They didn't come out with this one in the larger size, like this, this year, but um, I had to grab that one. But he also came out with two new ones. This one is called Black Opaque, and that's what it is. It's black. You can see there, and it's not going to be shiny, um, I don't think. It might, it well, it might be, but it's definitely going to be where you can't see through it. And then, on top of that, he has come out with Glow. And it is, it lives up to its name. If you charge this up and you turn the lights out, you can just about read by it. It is so shiny or it glows in the dark so much and I cannot wait 
to get this on some of my pages and um, see what we can do with it. But I just love playing with the um, with the paste, the grit pastes that he came out with, and I'm I'm excited to try those out. And of course, if you saw my videos last year, then you saw me use the um, the crypt. And I can't remember. I'm it's so bad. It's been a year now, so I can't remember if I used the other one. <laughs> um, and then the other things that I've got this year that I'm super excited about is I have this set of dies from Heidi Swap, her new Halloween collection this year. I just love these adorable little ghosts. They are so cute. And this intricate, intricate web die, I'm, I'm really anxious to see if this will actually cut through. I, I got one from Echo Park a couple of years ago and I was, I had a really hard time with it cutting through. So we'll see if this one will cut a little better. And then I also got her stamp set called Haunting. And this is also from this year. And with this stamp set, it's going to be so fun because it has all these little pieces. I hope you can see that there and it's not too shiny. Um, all these little pieces here where you can build your own haunted house. And I cannot wait to be able to use that and see what all I can come up with there. It's really neat because it has different gates here. It has just different textures, windows. Um, it's got a little porch here, some texture. Um, this, looks, look, this, hmm, this looks like another little gate piece, but I saw her on Instagram use this piece in front of one of the windows. So it kind of looked like a window box there or, um, or something, but I can't wait to use this. That's going to be so much fun. And then the last thing I got that is new to my stash this year are some little puffy stickers from American Greetings. I just was walking down the aisle in Walmart to see if they had anything new this year, and they had these. So I went ahead and picked them up. I think this little cat and the jack-o'-lantern is so cute. And of course the bats and more little jack-o'-lanterns and the little skulls. They're so cute. So that's all that I got new. My plan for the my actual October daily is the same as before. I'm going to, going to be using this 4x4 um, album to do my pages. And... I just love this size for something like this because in October, especially with my girls being older now, um, we don't do as as much. Well, it's not that we don't do as much. We just do different stuff now. So some days there's really not anything going on. And then some days we have a lot of stuff going on. So typically my October daily isn't actually a daily. It's a, it's more of a stories. I try to get maybe 31 stories um, in for the month and not try and do each day, but just the stories. And what I have decided to use, I've got it here in my, in my trusty little Ikea box here thing. Um, I've decided that for my October daily this year, I'm going to use my most favorite Halloween collection ever called Hey Pumpkin from Crate Paper. And um, I've used it for other pages before, but this time I want to really focus on just using it. Of course, I, I never stick to one thing. I'm, I'm all over the place. I use my entire stash as my kit, so <laughs> I'm a, a, a um, chronic kit cheater. So I put stuff together, but then I go and grab other stuff as well. But 
Um, I love this collection so much. It's so adorable. And I still have so much of it. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've used it in my big album. I'm, I'm going to use it in my small album this year. So I do have the 12 by 12 paper pad. I have the 6x8 paper pad. And it has um, some foiling in it. As you can see here, it's like a, um, a holograph, I think. No, or is that silver? I think it's just silver. I do have a few little scraps here. And these little ghosts, though, I just absolutely love them. I mean, how adorable is that? I can't stand it. <laughs> I love it so much I can't stand it. <laughs> and then have some spider webs and some zigzags and little stars. And to me, this looks like teeth. <laughs> it looks like like chomper jaws and stars and the little kids out in the town trick-or-treating. And I love the colors. The colors are so pretty. And this black cat. And this boo to you is also um, silver foiling. And the little trick-or-treaters again. And your standard and the jack-o'-lantern faces. And ink, which is again in the foil. So I've got, um, I've got this that I can use. Which, this size is a little bit easier to use in the 4x4 album, but I still like to have both, size, both sizes so that I can pick and choose what I want to use. And along with these, I still have some of the puffy stickers and quite a few of the ephemera. And then I have the sticker book. And these are really cute because they are black glitter. Those are cute. And some of these, like this one, and I believe these are clear stickers. And I have a hard time using them, so I definitely want to challenge myself to try and get some of those used up in this project. I do have these, um, the puffy title type things that goes with this collection. And again, they're kind of big, but you can... We can maybe see if we can't get some of those used in there. And then I have the regular thickers for this collection. They're, they're really cute. I like the font. And, and then it has the silver in the center of the letters there. That's really cute. I have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet, which they have folded over. So I have that. And then I have the chipboard sheet, which I've I've used some, but I'd like to get more. I, I just love this old house. This, and these ghosts, they're just adorable. So cute. So I like that. And then I've got lots and lots of scraps to use, which will be very useful for a 4x4 album. But then I also have a lot of loose 12 by 12 pages or papers so I, I told you I have a lot of it so I need to not be hoarding it and not be stingy with it and actually use it and then the last thing that I have from this collection are these cute little um, tassel ghosts that I, I think you were supposed to be able to make like a decorative swag type thing, but um, I just use them individually on pages and stuff because they're they're really cute. Um, and I like them in my pages and not hanging off the wall or on my mantle. <laughs> so that is what I'm using for my um, October daily. And I'm, again, I'm going to try really hard don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try really hard to use mostly just these for the album. And I did because I wonder what would it look like if you just used one collection in an album because I've never done that before. I've I've always mixed 
mixed and matched everything. So we will see if I have restraint, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> and of course I will be having my um, mica stains and the grit paste and everything all over. And um, of course I have all the rest of my stuff, so when I'm doing other pages, I will be using just anything that I find in my stash for my other Halloween pages like um, like the the um, sketchy Saturday I don't have anything specifically picked out for those um, I do have all pictures picked out for the Halloween throwback and um, which is great for this year because past couple of years I've kind of winged it <laughs> It's like it's hard to go find a picture, but um, I've already got those picked out and I have the techniques picked out for Technique Tuesday. My daughter already has the things picked out for me for Mysterious Monday, so I'll just be adding papers to that and then whatever else that um, her choices leads me, whichever direction that she um, has picked out for me. So, um, I think that's all. In a separate video, I am going to show you the kit that I have picked out for Killer Kit Sunday. So, be looking for that video coming up. And I think that's it for now. So, yeah. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.